What's going on, guys? I am Jace Machine, and we are playing StarMade on the Star Squadron server. Thank you very much for that, kitty cat. My cat wants to be fed an hour and a half early. They're funny like that. Go away. Scramus, be gone with ya. I hope all of you guys are doing well today. I, uh, I've, I've been feeling a little melancholy uh, most of the day. But, uh, that's just normal for me. Kind of par for the course. I am a fairly moody person, chemically speaking, and I don't really have a whole lot of control over it. So, I just have to take it as it comes and just deal with it. Shut up, cat! I don't think I remember asking you a damn question! Yeah! <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about that today, guys. Screw feeling like crap, because I'm playing Star Maid. I think this is easily my favorite game right now. Star Maid, you're my favorite game. Um, and in my favorite game, I have been making some changes, some alterations, as you can see. If you watched the last video, uh, I cleared a lot of this out, but it wasn't as far progressed as this. So, uh, I wanted to show you what I had in mind. And as you can see, I got stairs cut for ramps. And I got entrances for what will end up being, uh, I don't know, basically rooms, I suppose. I'm going to sort of have, like, garage door openings to the rooms. The, the sort of the design concept with this, and this is sort of weird, but stick with me for a second. If you guys saw uh, Star Wars A New Hope, uh, then you'll remember Luke Skywalker's Uncle Brew's place. Uncle Brew? Uncle Owen! Uh... Uncle Owen and Aunt Baru. <laughs> it's Uncle Baru. Luke, I need you to get out here. Your blue milk is curdling. Anyway, <laughs> uh, uh, their house was sunk into the desert because of the fact that I would imagine that it was good for avoiding sandstorms. Man, that must have filled up, though. Th can you imagine living in that house during a sandstorm? That's what's going on here. I am um, making my place sunk into the ground, and I'm going to have my landing features and stuff here. I'm also thinking about putting a few towers because uh, towers are good. Yeah, I'd like towers. I'm also thinking about putting a little entranceway right here, going all the way through. That way I can come out to this side, no problem. And that, I don't know, I guess that's kind of it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a sunken down thing with a large courtyard. And uh, the doors are going to be just set inside the walls, and the different rooms are going to be off there. I left this tree here because it just was so pretty, and I didn't want to take the tree down and ruin its day. You know? A little bit of grass never hurt anybody. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. I, I don't know what I'm saying. Alright, so, uh, and then I, I guess also this area here I was thinking might be kind of like a cool little gardeny area that overlooks uh, all of this. Oh, look at that. Wonder if I should remove this or turn it into... What the hell are you doing? These cats really don't like me to record right at this time of day. They're like, Daddy, Daddy, uh, it's, it's, it's like two hours from dinner time. Can we be fed now, Daddy, Daddy? Sorry. <laughs> These obviously are weird um do you guys think i should use them or lose them let me know in the comments that's the first question uh i might ask more questions and if i do please please tell me the answers you seek <laughs> uh, tell me the answers i seek actually because i don't know what to do i didn't realize that we had um all these little caves down here it's pretty cool I started putting, um, I gotta watch where I'm walking, I might walk in the lava. I put these pillars here, uh, as sort of the start of, uh, what I'm going to make to look like natural s pillars of stone, like stalactites and stalagmites that have met. Come up here to this pretty orange light, let's take a look. Yeah, that's just a little tiny, tiny lava pool. What are the, what's over here? Over here, I was told if I walked over this way, oh, look at this, it's crazy, lava. Alright, I 
me see here. I know that uh, you guys may be concerned that I'm not going to go back to the other planet where my actual house is. And I don't think you should feel that way. I'm going to be building in both places. I'm a very ADD player of games as it is anyway. Um, you know, but I intend to keep working on both of these. Um, I need to change production on this real quick. I'm going to drop in some metal mesh. And of course, I don't have any of that other stuff. The crystal. Hey, you got any crystal? Yeah, let's take some of this. Just take 800 of these and stick them into this thing and press the button and boom, it's done. All right, change production. A capsule refinery. Giggity, giggity. All right, let's, oh, no, stop, stop. Stop, stop, no. Hey, hey, guys, guys. Whoa. The hell you're doing? Slow your roll, pal. Did I, did I only make five, or did I totally screw that up? <laughs> That's why you should not always have factories with multiple things attached to them. I'm gonna stick this uh, refinery right here and uh, fill it with some of the the nummy stuff we've come across. All right, armed with everything we need, let's just hop into this here build block. Take a look at the land. Oh, wow. Glare. What a, look at that. What am I seeing? That's the sun somehow. <laughs> I don't know how, but that's the sun I'm seeing. It's crazy. Oh. If it's not the sun, then it must be Jesus.
uh, take a look at what we've accomplished today so far. guys watch Fuse MC you'll know that I pretty much stole his light design so thank you very much Fuse uh, some simple but effective design thank you so I'm um, going to be putting I'm gonna replace these uh, hole bits here oh, I can't seem to walk up there yeah can't do it oh man yeah interesting didn't didn't realize that probably going to replace those uh, with something that matches pretty much and uh, Going to get some probably some more lighting around here because it's still it's a freaking hole in the ground It's a freaking hole in the ground. You see uh, This part goes up here. That's a very descriptive sentence. I said part in here, you know it's, it Totally tells you what this rampway made of aluminum mesh uh, goes up to this upper platform that is consists of stone and grass blocks. Uh, I don't know. I kind of like it. I don't know what it's going to be used for. Maybe like a radar tower or something stupid like that. I don't know. Over here we got a little bit more of the same. More ramps made of metal mesh. Um, I use the hull on the side for railings because, golly gee, it sure does look nice. And then, uh, got these little rooms hollowed out a little bit. I don't want them to just be boring garages, though. I know I described them as being garages, but that was very loose terms. I'd like them to be, uh, like a series of rooms and things like that. And this over here is kind of going to be like a work shed, possibly. I might actually move my, um, factories and such over to here from, uh, from where they're just sitting on the grass. I don't know. I don't know. I think that is enough for uh, for this base for today. We're gonna keep working on uh, on this uh, incrementally. And uh, tell me what you guys think, because I had a question when I was building this. I absolutely had another question for you guys. When I did this first one, I did it with the two angled bits right next to each other, and they give a skinnier feel than the top blocks. You know, so it feels kind of weird. About over here, it's much thicker, and as you can see, it's constructed differently. And now this is too thick, so it's either going to be too thick, and I don't mean that as numerically too, I mean T-O-O, -O, too thick. That's just too much. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm going to be thinking about it myself. Feel free to uh, comment, let me know what you think. You know, if I'm going to do a garden, don't you think it would be great to have a freaking awesome, amazing garden, like, literally down here? I know that other area was, was pretty, but I can kind of move stuff, right? I wouldn't mind having multiple biomes visible. I don't know. It's kind of cool. I'm going to try to get all the different bits from different planets and uh, definitely recreate them over here. Make it like a cultural heritage park and museum, man. Where you can like walk around and smell cactuses and eat berry bushes, man. It'd be great, man. <laughs> Whatever. If I do something like that, maybe I'll do a space station. Space station Silicon Valley! Any of you guys know that game? That was a screwed up weird little game. But it was brilliant. Alright. That's enough for this base. Let me go and see what else there is to see. Now that we got a chance to work on some stuff, let's take a look at what some of our neighbors have got going on. Here's JJ Abrams again. Say hi, JJ! Alright, let's see. Of course, I picked the side of the planets that have nothing on them. Oh, wait. That's not nothing. Oh, I know whose uh, area this is. This looks like Fuse MCs. Let me check his lights out and make sure I stole him all correctly. Yeah, he, he made better use of them um, throughout, I think, because he's got the nice 
the nice sidewalk going on there. I think I should probably do something like that. That looks very nice. And here is his ship, and then he's got like his, his little car there. It's like his grocery shopper, I think. Yeah, and this right here is uh, Fuse's main ship. If you've seen a couple of the other Star Squadron videos, you've definitely seen that ship flying around. But looks like here we are at Sven the Slayer's place. Oh, we're having some weird gla graphic issues, though. Look at that. That's not supposed to be like that. You see? I think I know what it is, though. Um, I'm going to suggest that it's the atmosphere cutting through those shapes. Very cool. We got two of his ships. Uh, the one on the left is the ship, of course, that you saw in the last video. And then what do we got here? Looks like a hanger. And that's a really good idea to place your hangers right on the edge of a plate because uh, if you're flying out, it, it's a good way to get out of the gravity easier. That's awesome. Very cool. Oh, look at those uh, landing lights. I'm going to have to steal that idea for something in the future. <laughs> and over here is some guy's place. I know it because he has his name there. <laughs> He's got a, a, an amusing series uh, that is uh, called The Noob's Adventures. And he is a noob, but uh, I know a lot of the stuff he does over there. Uh, he emphasizes for comedic sake. So if you guys want to chuckle and you like Starmate, go check out uh, some guy's uh, stuff. He also does like game reviews and of point and click adventures and things like that. All right, who's, uh, whose place is this? Ah, uh, yes. This would be Robin Shield's place. Hello there, Robin. It's good to see you. Guten Tag. Guten Morgen. Guten Nacht. I think that's the, the majority of what's been going on on the planet for the time being. I am going to go head out and find myself some asteroids to collect. full asteroid field right ahead it looks like a good variety so I'm gonna start collecting some of this stuff guys I think I've run out of time for the day next time we'll see what we can get into I think I'd like to build a new spaceship because uh, as nice as this one is and as effective this one is this one don't kill pirates so we're gonna look into that next time thanks a lot for watching guys <laughs>